Happy holidays. I'm Maria D'Angelo, Command Master Chief of Coast Guard Academy, and today I'm going to be reading you a tale, A Coast Guard Academy Christmas. Twas the night before finals, when all through Chase Hall. Not a cadet was stirring, not even Sir Paul. The covers were hung by their racks with care, in hopes that their rides home would soon be there. The cadets were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of ring buoys danced round their heads. And Mrs. Kelly in her jammies and Admiral in his cap had just nestled in for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. They sprang from quarters one to see what was the matter. Away to the window, something flew like a flash. The two tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon that gleamed bright on the grass freshly mowed gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to their wondering eyes should appear? But a miniature golf cart and the Coast Guard bear? He was a little old driver, so lively and quick, they knew this must be Obji's holiday visit. More rapid than swabs and go faster as he came, and he whistled and shouted, calling the academy by name. Now wind jammers, now dancers, now faculty and staff, on alumni and cadets, he said with a laugh. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves fly in an autumn gale breeze, Obji gusted down to Lee Me. So up to the steel beach, the mighty bear went with a cart full of toys and Liberty present. And then in a twinkling, cadets heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. With puzzled faces, they slowly turned round to find down the stairs, Obji coming round. He was dressed in a seasonal garnish from head to foot, wearing a Kris Kringle red and composite toe boot. The bundle of toys was flung on his back, looking happier than a non-rate done cleaning the mess deck. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. A scarf around his neck wrapped tight like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He briefly paused for a milk and cookie snack, as this amount of traveling must be such a great task. For he had just traveled through every which hall, from Mac to Hamilton, leaving presents at all. Each year his spirit radiated into each office and class, spreading holiday cheer to Coastie's present and past. So with one final bite, he exclaimed a Christmas roar, shaking the cadets all to their core. He sprung to his golf cart and turned the keys to the ignition, another year of this holiday tradition. And he gleefully sang as he drove out of sight, Semper Paratus to all and to all a good night! Ho, 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 ho.